Hello, what's up, Madlang people? Welcome again to BRB Podcast. And today, our topic is about acoustic guitar. So, uh, it was requested by Arnav if I can create a patch or if I can share patches that can be used for an acoustic guitar. And before we proceed with that one, uh, let me just introduce to you my guitar. This is Fender. DG, DG for Dreadnought, um, 60 CE. So this one, uh, I bought this installment and I think it was 250 pounds before or 259 uh, from Argos and I got an unboxing and review of this guitar. Right, I'm going to share uh, what I learned when I was uh, learning the guitar and listening to those people who I look up to um, during my time in our uh, province in the Philippines. One of which is Larry Artus. He's the one who really inspired me with uh, a lot of things when it comes to advanced uh, guitar playing. I I'm not an advanced player myself, but he shared to me a lot of things. So, one of which is he mentioned that most guitarists, those who are accomplished guitarists, they play acoustic guitar because um, with acoustic guitar, it's bare. It, you don't need to plug it to an amp. No need for effects pedal. Just the acoustic guitar. And then the tension of acoustic guitar is heavier than the electric guitar. So much difficult to play lead to bend there's lots of challenges but the main thing that he wanted to share is if you can play and sound really really good on an acoustic guitar then that's it you just prove yourself to be really a good guitarist so guys i would say strive and make the most of the acoustic guitar unplugged and listen to it and uh, if you can hear that you're sounding good without the amp without the effects then your effects pedal would be just an accessory to your gear and you will rely to the tone of your fingers uh, key factor there is your grip how you press the strings, how you strum, and then how accurate your positions for your fingers. So even you're just playing chord or you're playing lead. If it's very clear, neat, then that's it. That's that's how it goes. Or uh, the way to point this so that it's a little bit clear. Uh, maybe you try and play those songs that you're already playing on the electric guitar and try it on the acoustic. So those are just like a sample and um, in this podcast I'll be plugging this one in because this is an electroacoustic and then as requested I'll be using my Zoom G1X on then we'll try and share to you some patches that are uh, useful for an acoustic guitar. Also if you don't have Zoom G1X on, if you got any multi-effects pedal we will also discuss uh, things that you can use 
uh, like for example if you only got an amp acoustic guitar amp or you only got a speaker uh, a hi-fi speaker you can use your mixers um, delay or reverb uh, effects or the echo of your uh, speaker system uh, that would also be another thing because I grew up back home in the Philippines we don't have like access to the proper gear so we tend to improvise so uh, we've got this um, uh, a speaker system we call it um, like a component I think or a tower speaker and uh, I totally forgot what we call it but it's like for karaoke and you got echo sometimes they put a uh, delay so yeah we just tweak it plug our acoustic guitar and then that's it that's our reverb it's an echo uh, for microphone but we just improvise the main thing is uh, the sound of the guitar itself also another thing that i wanted to emphasize or share to you is when you're selecting a guitar because there's lots of cheap uh, acoustic guitar and the wood really affects it so that's what i learned if the wood is really nice you can tap it and then you'll feel that oh this is quite a good wood and the sound that will come out from the sound hole it will reverberate better it's got an um, amazing sound uh, so yeah that's another thing so don't just go for the cheap guitar or even it's not branded because we got this back home it's like an unfinished guitar but if you tap on that guitar it's really really good and yeah larry when he plays that i can play guns and roses on that one or any song and it sounded really great so yeah uh, stick around we'll swap and try some more things with this uh, electro acoustic guitar paired with my zoom given x on see you in a bit so guys i'm back and i already set it up now uh, the guitar is plugged in through uh, zoom one x on and i've used my Licato wireless uh, guitar system it's there and then um, i deleted uh, all of the effects there that's why it's on bypass mode then we'll put um, effects one by one so this is the sound without any effects now as i've said before if you got reverb in your mixer so let's try and put reverb from the mixer let's add some more and then remove again the the reverb It so happened as well, that's why you're probably gonna hear it. Uh, the This microphone is picking up the acoustic just a tiny bit, but um, it's directly plugged in uh, using the Zoom G1X on. Right, having said that, we'll start with the effects. So this is like my first time doing podcast and then live we're going to put effects and we are gonna select um let's start with let's say the reverb let's find a good reverb here that's carbon delay um we're not gonna use delay at the moment we'll just put uh reverb and the best reverb i would uh assume is whole reverb oh there's arena there love it Wow, 
So arena reverb, we just added it. Uh, I don't want to tweak it. Um, let's see, because initially I said whole. There you go, whole reverb. I think it's much subtle than the arena. And I sort of like it uh, because it sounded more natural. So it's up to you if you prefer the arena reverb or the whole reverb. Let's find another one. HD whole modulation plate. That's another one that I love. Ooh. I like this one. Uh but we will probably go back to the whole reverb for now just so uh, the natural sound of the acoustic is still there all right now having that in your effects you can add a bit of modulation so let's add chorus um, which is normally um one of the let's add the effect here so that the whole reverb will go on the right side let's find first there chorus but i don't think you got that one in your um because i updated this one this zoom g1x on so there's lots of effects that probably it's not there on your unit this one let's just say it's the stereo chorus it's beautiful isn't it and we just added it we didn't tweak anything So that's chorus and if you want you can put flanger as well it's a really good um, effects or mod modulation effects there's the one so we're just adding it we're not changing any settings there <laughs> think it's a little bit too much but if we lower the resonance maybe like only half there So that's our flanger and we've just uh, put this in the middle right um let's 
try Phaser because that's another one that's really good as well. Although my choice of modulation normally is chorus. But let's just try this one out as well. Phaser. So you can adjust the color and probably will put it like 4 or there it's on 8 stage I think STG Oh, I remember it. I think there's a song for this one. Yeah, so if you like that settings as well, guys, uh, phaser, that's the one. Alright, let's go back to chorus because that's the one that I normally uh, put. There you go. And I didn't tweak anything because there. Another thing that will make this more interesting is if we add a delay. Um, let's put, so we'll put modulation and then delay and then the uh, reverb. So we, are, we stick to the whole reverb. Let's put this one's carbon delay. Let's try... Um, ping pong delay if we can there's loads of delay here because I already updated this one and there's stereo delay stomp delay tape echo perhaps we'll, we'll try the tape echo for now <laughs>
I think the combination of delay and the whole reverb, especially if you also put like uh, the arena reverb, like a uh, higher uh, decay, um, it will be good for uh, finger picking. Right, I hope you enjoyed this one guys. So thank you so much for being with me in this uh, mini podcast. And to our nav, I hope you pick up something here. Especially you really wanted to learn how to tweak uh, uh, the Zoom G1X on independently. So uh, I hope you've learned stuff like for example, you can just uh, start from scratch. So that was empty. We added the whole reverb. Then we tried the modulation and we said we'll just stick with the chorus effects. Then I added the uh, stereo uh, delay and we didn't even tweak the parameters and we instantly came up with a lovely sound. But you can always uh, tweak that one. Like I said, it's always like experimenting with the sound uh, plus and minus. So don't be scared on changing everything and adding or or adding effects or uh, putting like two effects together which is almost similar like for example sometimes if I use delay I won't be using the reverb or if I'm already happy with the reverb I wouldn't put a delay on top of it so that's one example another one is if I got the chorus I wouldn't put anything like phaser or flanger Okay, because it's it's the same. It's a modulation, but then there's really no rule. You can put your chorus, and then on top you can put flanger or phaser. It's entirely up to you. Uh, as they say, sky is the limit. But because of Zoom G One X One, you can only have um, five effects. That's including your uh, amp sim. So. Uh, at the moment, we didn't put any amp sim there because uh, it doesn't really require because of the uh, it's an acoustic guitar. So uh, normally with your acoustic guitar, you can just plug straight to the PA system. That's why we didn't needed the uh, amp sim or cab sim. But uh, you can if you want. If there's a, a amp sim that you fancy. Uh, like for example Fender Sound or Marshall you can still use it uh, there's no such thing as uh, uh, it's only for electric guitar uh, you can always as I said uh, try it out right if, for those who are new to my channel please subscribe and please hit that notification bell so you get notified each time I'm posting new video thank you again and see you soon for next episode bye for now ciao